Well, it is good to see the NFL is back and ready to kick off another season. Always great anticipation as teams get ready to roll. I love football, but I don't like the way the NFL does business with these preseason games, folks. First of all, they play two games too many. Most fans don't like the ticket packaging and the pricing for these practice games. Owners don't want to lose the revenue. Players don't want to get hurt. They don't collect their full paychecks until the regular season begins. In the real business world, the smart thing for those in charge is to cater to their customers. In the NFL, doesn't work that way. The teams charge full freight for games that don't count and for games where star players don't play long enough to even break a sweat. Plenty of tickets available for Thursday night's game against the Bengals at Arrowhead. Prices range from $34 to $240 per ticket. It's crazy, folks. 34 bucks to sit up there in the nosebleed and watch a bunch of guys who will be selling cars and life insurance when camp is over. And oh, by the way, if you're going to the game, make sure you arrive before kickoff. If you don't, you could miss Jamal Charles and his two carries for the night. Variable pricing, they call it. It's the big ripoff in sports these days. When the Patriots come in here for a Monday night game, the cheapest ticket will run you about 60 bucks. It's really more like 70 after they tack on all these fees. If you want a good look at Tom Brady up close, and a lot of women do, be prepared to shell out 320 bucks for that seat. No mistake here, NFL preseason ticket gouging is one of the biggest scams in all of sports. Enjoy the game, folks. That's Jack Smack.